Hi, this is Phil Shapiro in Tacoma Park. I'm creating this screencast, this narrated explanation, to share some tips and tricks on how you can find books by local authors in some of the local public library card catalogs. So I live and work in Tacoma Park, Maryland, and I have encountered some remarkably talented authors who've written very interesting books. And I happen to work at the library, so I've encountered them just because I work at the library. But I would like you to encounter some really interesting authors. And um, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for doing that today. So here on our own public library card catalog, the way to find local authors is really kind of nice and simple. We type in Tacoma Park Authors. And this is what we end up with. So it says we have almost 3,000 books. So we do keep track. If a, if a book is written by a local author, we keep track of that at the library. And um, so you could, you could scroll through here and try and find something interesting that you'd like to read. Um, and, and if you really love the book, you could track down the author. The author might live within a half a mile of you. The author might live on the same street as you. <laughs> um, and if you like the book, you can do a review. You can either write a review. I like to make video book reviews because they're more inclusive. They reach people who are non-readers. And those non-readers, they might be able to access a book in audiobook format. So let me just show you some of my own favorite Tacoma Park authors before we go to some of the other public library card catalogs. So here's some of my favorite authors. Um, there's a book by co-authored by Hannah Joyner called Unspeakable, the story of Junius Wilson. So this book is from 2007, and it was recommended to me by the uh, the co-author, Hannah Joyner. Her son recommended the book to me, and it is quite a book. Um, I've done a video book review of this on YouTube, and I just posted here. I logged into my um, I logged into my account at the Tacoma Park Maryland Library, and you can post a review. So I've posted here a review of this book, including a link to the YouTube review. I posted a short little text review, and I posted a review, a, a link to uh, Hannah Joyner's YouTube channel. And this comment, this um, is currently pending approval. So somebody at the library needs to approve that. I have a hunch they will. <laughs> Um, who are some of the other local authors that are quite amazing? There is um, Roger McBride Allen, Mr. Lincoln's, Mr. Lincoln's High Tech War. This is a juvenile book. Yeah, here it is. So this is a juvenile book written by a Tacoma Park author with his dad. And um, I took a look at this book. It's neat. It is neat. I hadn't reviewed it, but I, have, I did like it. And there is Water Defenders. Husband and wife wrote this book. It's totally amazing. I've read it. The Water Defenders by Robin Broad and John Cavanaugh. Um, the Son with Two Moms. The Son with Two Moms. And, yep, by Anthony Hines. I've done a book review of that. You can find my book review on YouTube. Um, just search for that title and the words book review. Um, and there are others. Um, let's see, is it Joan Malone? Joan Malone. Um, Awake to Racism. So I haven't read this book. It's a 2021 book, um, but um, I think it's it's bound to be really excellent. Uh, let's just see some more about this book. Um, summary, a young nun shocked by the Birmingham church bombing in 1963 begins to wake up to the horrors of racism. Joan's journey as a civil rights anti-war activist took her to jails, trials. So yeah, this is a, uh, this is a book well worth reading. Very interesting. 
So uh, who else for the local authors? Um, I think I've gotten some of the ones that just come to mind, but there's so much talent in Tacoma Park. There is a lot of, oh, there's Henry Allen, Henry Allen, um, Henry Allen. And yep, Henry Allen uh, has written some fiction. Um, so, um, Fool's Mercy here. Fiction. Um, let me go on now and show you some tips and tricks from the Montgomery County Public Libraries. So I'm over here on Montgomery County Libraries and I'd like to find local authors. So this is counterintuitive, but it works. And I'm very impressed at how well it works. So the way you find local authors is you search for nothing. You put something in here and you search for nothing. <laughs> One of the nice librarians in Montgomery County Library showed me this, this thing. And then we go down to shelf location and we click on shelf location more. Shelf location more. And then we say local authors. And look, there's 606 books or it could be audio CDs or films. There could be other things. And so here we are, there's 606 local items in Montgomery County. And um, look at this. Some of these are online. Some of these are like, uh, they click over here. Isn't this neat? Um, so this is fascinating. You can go and read an ebook. You can get it from Hoopla of a local author. So I like that because um, it, it knits together uh, when, when there's local authors and their books are available as ebooks, you can get them in the middle of the night, read the book, hunt down the author, send them a thank you. You know, you can always write to an author via their publisher, send them a hard copy letter, a fan mail, or you might find them on social media. But you know, authors, they like it if somebody thanks them for their book, because some, some books take, some books take a year or two to write and some books takes five or 10 years to write. So if somebody sent you a thank you, it means a lot. Um, let's, um, uh, I contacted the folks at the Enoch Pratt library in Baltimore. I said, Hey, how do you find local authors? And they told me you can do a search of their collection under authors, American Maryland. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And if we do a search for that, uh, we will, um, we will get all the people in Maryland. It finds 320 results. And so you can scroll here and find some Maryland authors. Now, some of these Maryland authors are not necessarily Baltimore. They could be anywhere in Maryland, Western Maryland, Eastern Shore, uh, or maybe even Tacoma Park. Hey, Tacoma Park. Okay. Um, so isn't that interesting? Um, over here in Arlington, I checked Arlington, Virginia. Um, and they have something where you can search for Arlington Authors Program. And these, I think, are self-published books that are in their collection, not necessarily the ones that are published by traditional publishers. So, um, um, so there are some tips and tricks for finding local authors in the card catalogs. Um, I commend you to go, go read some local authors and maybe, maybe write a book yourself. <laughs> um, this is Phil Shapiro. I hope this screencast was helpful for those who are curious. I'm making the screencast on a refurbished iMac from about 2011. And I put on the free software called Linux Mint. I'm using a program called Simple Screen Recorder. This is Simple Screen Recorder that's recording all my screen activity. Um, I have a separate, uh, I have a webcam, a separate webcam. I'm using a separate webcam rather than the built-in webcam because um, I think I have more control over the size of the video. The built-in webcam only gives me one big size and I don't want a big size. I just like a small little size to put in the corner. So I'm using an external USB webcam. And for my audio, I'm using an Olympus digital audio recorder that records CD quality audio, really clear audio. So I'm going to take this video, which is going to be an MP4 video. And I'm going to take that video, put it into a video editing program and line it up with the audio from my, um, 
this thing's kind of neat. It's it's got a little like a USB. Um, it plugs into a computer, and you copy off the audio file that you recorded. You copy it off as if it was a USB flash drive, and it's the file format is uh, that I'm using on this particular one is called Wave. Wave is uncompressed audio. That means it's the same as CD quality audio, very high quality. So only the best, right? Only the best. <laughs> this is Phil Shapiro. I hope you learned something here. And it was fun to make this on this refurbished old computer, almost 10 years old, but it's working great. Um, and if you live in Tacoma Park, come by the library, ask me questions. Um, I can teach you screencasting all for free if you want. Um, if I'm not too busy answering other people's questions, uh, bring me an old computer I'll put on Linux and I'll teach you how to screencast. And you can even make your own little TED Talk kind of thing using LibreOffice. LibreOffice is that free software that is um, just like Microsoft Office over here. It's got like a presentation program just like PowerPoint. So you could do like a presentation and here it comes, here it comes. Look at this. So here we are. So here's LibreOffice. And so you can do a presentation uh, and step through the screens of the presentation um, while you're narrating it. And that way you can get your ideas out to the world. You could put it on YouTube for free and send me a link. <laughs> Hope this helps. Until next time. Bye.